and welcome to the newest member of the family, the Chevy Cruze. This is my first ever uh, car reveal on the channel. Lord knows I should have probably started YouTube a lot sooner because I had that beautiful 50th anniversary Camaro right here that I could have done a reveal on. I have my 2015 Chevy SS right there that I could have done a reveal on. I had the Grand National. The well, the GTO, that's probably way before you two, I don't know, but anyhow, man, so, uh, little interesting backstory to this car, so, uh, comes with two window stickers, right? So the guy tells me that this car was actually built for a car show, and if you look here, the dealer to whom delivered, General Motors, and over here is the, uh, bag that my keys were in. Auto Show, Cruise 17 Chevy, and I'm covering my VIN. I don't. I just don't want the VIN out there. And uh, I don't know. I just pulled up the Detroit Auto Show for 2017, and a orange hatchback Cruise Premier was actually at the show. I don't know if this was the car that was actually shown there. I have no idea, but GM actually ordered this car to put on the show circuit or whatever and the dealer purchased it from GM maybe that's why I got such a really good deal on it but yeah I mean how many times do you ever see that window sticker from General Motors anyhow this is a 2017 just bought that's why I got a great deal on it. it's brand new it is the premier edition with RS so it gives it these nicer headlights you get the RS badging you get this um, little lower spoiler down here and you get these uh, little rocker panels down here and you get the bigger wing up here which I think is pretty cool looking you also get a different front end and the back end is a little different see these orange pieces that come down are part of that and the chrome exhaust tip part of the premier package so I like the hatchback my H8 jar with a hatchback in it um, Gives you plenty of room and flexibility. These seats fold down, so you got plenty of storage in here. Uh, comes with 18 inch wheels, which are pretty nice. Uh, you get the turn signals in the mirrors, it's added, and the mirrors are heated as well. This has the sun and whatever package, which gives it the sunroof and the Bose audio system uh, comes with this one has the leather seats it does have a wireless charger right here that my note 9 actually does fit but I do have to remove the rubber it will not charge with the rubber in there uh, it has rear parking sensors it has heated seats driver seat is power steering wheel is heated um, you got a touch button start you got an 8 inch uh, touch screen with navigation has the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay if you like this stuff. Me, I don't really bother with it. Uh, it does have automatic climate control. On this one, you could set the uh, temperature to what you want. It automatically takes a single zone. It's not a dual zone like some cars, but uh, nice feature. All this is kind of like a leather with a really nice stitching in it. Of course, up here, it's... Um, a harder plastic but you still got nice details of the soft leather down here and uh, pretty generous storage here in the door panels you have a one cigarette lighter here you have one USB port and a headphone jack here do you have your lighted vanity mirrors on both Get your sunroof here you got one switch here that does the vent and the other one is a, actually this one's nice my Camaro doesn't do this one does fully open and close so my Camaro doesn't close automatically this one actually does kind of a nice feature um, there's your electric mirror switch uh, only the driver's window goes up automatically all the windows will go down automatically and only the driver's mirror will go low up automatically 
here in the back is a full 110 volt outlet. Uh, we have a nice little cover that will go over it. And both back seats are heated as well. So here are your backup sensors to let you know when you get too close to something. They'll start beeping in the car so you don't back into something. Really cool little Chevy bow tie to put in the back uh, tail light. And they also put a little Chevy emblem right there in the front headlight as well. It's a little, little stuff for you to try to find. Up here in the front, that is your lane, uh, lane keep camera and your collision sensor. So this car has, or if you're coming up too fast on the car, it'll beep, it'll flash to this little thing right here in the dash. There's a red red light that'll flash to let you know you're getting too close. And it'll let you know if you're departing your lane, if you're wandering out of lanes. And built into the mirrors as well. Right there you can see the uh, little car on that. This, that's the lane change assist to let you know if somebody's in your blind spot, the blind spot monitoring. Um, lock and unlock's done here with this button. Just provide the key is in your pocket or somewhere close to you. The hood here is unique that you pull it twice and then we'll pull it one more time. And now the neat thing is there's no hood latch to try to find. You just pick it up. But you do have a prop rod to pick up. So it does have a little baby turbo right there. It is a 1.6 liter. It's like 150 horse with 170 pounds of torque. I don't know the exact figures, but not the fastest thing in the world, but it is extremely good on gas. Um, I drive home from Louisiana. I got about uh, close to 40 miles a gallon. I'm pretty flat interstate. Running about 78 with it. So. Uh, to me, not a bad looking car at all. It's not the fastest thing, but I bought the thing purely for fuel economy. And just to be a good, um, economical daily car. This car does also have the fog lights down here, part of the RS package. I believe it's part of the RS package, so. Back seat also features a nice fold down armrest with a pair of cup holders. And it's easy fold down, just pull this latch and down they go. They have rear window defrost and a little wiper blade. Not that I've ever really used them, but. Uh. All right, it does have the six speed automatic and I don't wanna hear any shit about it being an automatic. First off, I wanted a diesel for gas miles. They get about 50 miles a gallon. I could not find one within 300 miles of my house. Not that I even want to drive that far. And um, I did look for a stick shift. I just couldn't find one. Not that I really wanted another orange car because the last one was orange. But I saw it in the sales brochure and I thought it was pretty cool. But I just kind of found it odd that autotrader.com, I could not find orange. Not until I went and searched orange did uh, I find the great deal on this one. But uh, just a little FYI, orange only comes in the hatchback. Orange is a premium color, which is like, a, I think, a $400 option. And three, it's a limited production. They were only going to make so many cars, which I don't know how many, but there was only so many orange cars made. So that's pretty cool. I got a car that was built by GM for the car show circuit. It might have been in some of the larger car shows. That I don't know. But, I mean, it was built, it was ordered by GM. So, And it's a limited uh, run for that color. So that's pretty cool. And, yeah, man, I hope you enjoyed my uh, car reveal. This is going to be uh, my new little daily, like I said. I know it's not an exciting, it's not a ZL1 or anything, but uh, circumstances happen. That's life, man. So, like I said, that's my logo, Cars Coffee and Life. So, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the reveal. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> All the shit I've been through with the accent and having to buy a new car and another weekend uh, done trying to buy a car and make videos for you. So, give me a thumbs up, support this veteran, and... Uh, Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, watch for more stuff on my vlog where I explain uh, more about this and uh, how everything happens. So go ahead and check those out. And hopefully subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. And I really hope you like my uh, first car reveal.